Today, we're going to talk about how to master your system status via health monitoring using Hike Central Professional. We will cover the following topics the real time status, historical data overview, and application. Health monitoring is available both on the web client and control client of Hike Central Professional. In this video, we will use the web client as our example. First, let's take a look at the real time dashboard data. You will find a brief dashboard listed on the left side of the home page. Check the CPU and RAM usage on the Hike Central Professional server. Next, go to the Health Monitoring to find more detailed information. You can also view the real time health status of the devices, servers, and resources managed in the system. Click the numbers displayed in the exceptions data, such as, for example, the number of offline cameras. The page will jump to the camera real time status and display more information. Click on a camera name and check the device details, such as network status, arming status, etc. Also, camera information gives you live details and camera parameters. If you have network transmission devices connected, you can check the topology displayed on the real-time dashboard. Go to Resource Management and Network Transmission Device. We have got one device already connected. OK, now let's go back to the health monitoring and you will see the real-time dashboard displayed with the topology. With this device, you can also view the upstream and downstream rates to judge whether the network status is normal or not. Or, you can click select the nodes to show the connection path separately between two nodes. For example, let's have a look at the connection path between the fisheye camera and the switch. Only the path between the camera and the switch will be displayed after saving. If you need to check the status of ports, please click the switch and details. You will see the device and port status. Click the Port Switch button to report the port if you need to, or check the statistics of each port. The letters in red help you locate the devices with an exception status. Click Locate in Topology, and you will see abnormal encoding devices listed. You can also check the real-time status of managed resources such as cameras, doors, etc. Alright, that's all for the real-time status. Now let's look at the historical data overview. After you click historical overview, you will see resource online rate, device online rate, and recording integrity rate displayed with a line graph. You have the options of last 30 days, last 7 days, and last 24 hours to choose from. The total offline duration will be displayed for your reference. Click the dot and the page will give you more details of the recording status. Click on the camera name and check the recording bar. The blue parts on the bar represent the time periods during which video footage was recorded, while the orange parts represent either video loss or no recording schedule exists. Go to Audit Trial and check the server, device and resource logs. For example, the server log contains errors, warnings and information logs. You can have a look at the historical user and server activities, or click Export to save the logs using Excel or CSV formats. Click Device Logs and check the online and offline logs, such as the latest offline time and total offline duration. If you need to receive report in a scheduled way, Please go to Schedule Report to do the settings in advance. Define the report category, target camera or cameras, and report type. Choose report content, sending time, and set the email template. Click Add to save. Alright, that's all for historical status overview. Now let's take a look at device linkage for alarm notifications. Go to Event and Alarm and choose a camera in Maintenance as the source type. Choose the one you need, such as, for example, the camera offline. Now let's go to Control Client to see how it looks when there are triggered offline cameras. You will see a pop window and alarm details displayed on the Control Client after a few seconds. The alarm records of an offline camera can also be checked on the Web Client, which is often very helpful information to have. 
Alright, that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching.